Good morning and welcome to Morning Mario here on Steven Plays. Today, we have a Super Mario Brothers themed level called The Forest Naval, created by Shig Kirby. World record 2 minutes and 47 seconds, clear rate of 12%. Forest Naval means that we're going to be playing as, presumably, either the Pikmin or Captain Olimar. Or Mario, maybe Mario's going to the Forest Naval. Let's see what we get over there. Can, is it... What do we have over there, and more importantly, can I have it? It's my first... Oh, come on now. Uh, okay, so maybe I can't have it. Maybe I come and get it later. Seems like I may come and get it later. Okay, so there's the Pikmin. And there's a lot of mushrooms just floating around. Maybe I should not have grabbed them. I may need them later. So, uh, let's see what's in here. We're just gonna kind of climb our way out of this little hole. Down the other side. And then... Something... Oh, it's bomb. Take that, buddy. Or kind of just chill there. Oh, that'll work. I have an extra bomb if I need it. Uh, oh, God, there's... Well, hi, how are you doing? Oh, you and your family would like to play. I would really not... Whoa, double kill. So I formed a, uh... Kind of a... Weird bridge here. Now there's fire. Got a lot of references to Pikmin in here. P for Pikmin. Extra Pikmin. So we're not playing as Olimar, probably at all. Oh dear god. Everything is designed to kill me. I think I'll take the elevator out of here. Gonna leave that there in case I need it. Woo! You're gonna you're gonna Wow. I was I ducked so I wouldn't get my my little leaf burned. And I just realized they all do like a sexy pose whenever you <laughs> whenever you press down. Okay, careful. Careful. All right. Also, are are their run animations slightly different from each other? It kind of looks like it, which is a, a nice little extra. Okay, you guys got the scary points. Please do not poke. Do not hurt. Ugh! Oh yeah, who's got the big shoe now? Uh, that is the shoe generator. But what I need to do is just carefully. Get up here, good. There we- Oh wait, I bet I didn't need to do that. I bet I needed to fly through- Oh, son of a- I- As soon as I went through that was like, wait a minute, this is probably not- Ah, uh, okay, so I have- I have a little obstacle course here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I gotta stay on these things. And it should be made... A little easier... Because of the, uh, the wing. Without the wing, that would have been very difficult. All right, we probably don't need the shoe now. Goodbye, shoe. Have fun in your new world. So we drop down here, and this does. Ah, that is cool. That is really, really cool. I like that. Also, a really good spot for a checkpoint. All right, dropping down into the pipe. Underwater section. Oh God. Uh, hi Goomba. How are you going? Ah, ha, ha. You can get stomped underwater. You should be careful. You should respect me. Because I am coming for you. No, no, no. No, no. Yikes, that's a lot of fire. The Pikmin are going on a heck of an adventure today. You might just have to <laughs> lay and wait for that fish to go by. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Go. A lot of spare Pikmin around, though, which is nice, because then it keeps the theme. It's got, I guess that's kind of one of the downsides, um... ...is that whenever you're doing the Super Mario Brothers levels and you want them to be themed, if you do take a hit, you're back down to Mario. It'd be kind of a, a nice thing if they could, um... I don't know, set it to a level? So you have, uh... So even if you don't have a mushroom, like, you are that character. Now, obviously, then, if you take a hit, you die, but eh, some levels might actually prefer it that way. There we go. The world's slowest ghost carousel. Yeah, I wasn't waiting for that. I'm getting out of here. It's starting to run out of the Oh, wow. I will bop you underwater. You will get bopped. I don't think I need to kill you. It doesn't seem like a... Like a real... Oh my god, he's got hammers. Yeah. Woo. Can I even use these underwater? 
I totally can. Which is a little wacky. I can't even fit. <laughs> it doesn't even do me any good. I'll take the one up and, and continue on. Now with just uh, about 200 seconds left to go, I'm gonna continue. But that brings me here, which opens up the door to my spaceship. And we are... somewhere new. Somewhere... curious. We are above the level. Um... Kinda got these things nipping at my heels a little bit. But I jumped over them, and I think everything's fine, so I'm moving on. Okay, um... Another bomb? Another bomb. I'm gonna try not to grab that in the event that I do need it. And Bowser's blasts are on his way. Oh no! Oh no! I hit my head! We're going! Yo! Woohoo! Okay, we're fine, we're fine. This is a, a quite a distance from Bowser. Gotcha. Oh! Oh, what was that? Oh, but now I want it. Did you see him? Bowser wanted to complete the level. He actually jumped onto the flagpole. Which is crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that. Like, that's not a boundary for him. It looks like he could even jump past the flagpole. Which, honestly, is extremely frightening. Can you imagine that, like, you're, you're running for the level, you, you maybe jump and you've overshot your jump, you land past the flagpole, and you're like, well, at least I'm away from Bowser. And then he just jumps through the flagpole and crushes you. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a level of your own that you'd like to submit, or if you'd like to play the submitted levels and help rate them to decide what gets shown on Morning Mario, you can click the link in the description box down below, or head over to MorningMario.com. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Stephen Plays Morning Mario.